Alright guys, today I have a little video here. This is going to be on Next Launcher, which uh, is actually a pretty slick launcher. Uh, I'm just going to go through a lot of it here and give you kind of a, the best review I can on it and show you a lot of the features and how it actually functions. Um, so first of all, you can see the transition right there is really neat. And you can actually see some of the stuff that I'll point out to you. Let's go ahead and just show you these icons really quick that I think are kind of cool. So right here you can see I've got icons that are turned um, and even one that's upside down right over here. Um, so there's there's a lot of features here. So let me just kind of show you some. So for example here on Super Sue, if you hold your finger on it, um, it comes up with these little circles. And they do a lot of different things, but this is the one that allows you to turn them. And you can see you can turn Super Sue whatever direction you want, tap somewhere else, and now the application stays turned um, so really really cool that you have this customization also the grid on here is like extremely see you see what I'm saying it's you can go like right almost on top of each other if you if you really want to do that um, so I really really like that feature that you, the grid is pretty much however you want it I like that it when you push on it, it gives you these like lines to kind of line things up. And if you have something lined up with another one, it kind of lights it up there, as you can see. So there's some real good features here, just right here on these home screens that are really, really good. So besides that, you can see you have your uh, dock along the bottom here. And you can swipe across and it'll actually spin your dock and you can have multiple different docks here and the transitions are just amazing in this launcher that's probably the best thing about it is these really cool transitions so we can see all this I you probably noticed this little bar over here on the side and you can see that swipe does a lot of different things uh, as we go and I'll go through that but this bar is really slick because you can just hold on to it and uh, just kind of spin this thing um, to wherever you want to go to get to another page uh, it's very slick you can also tap the dock and you have some shortcuts to some cool features and I'll show you one of them this one is just kind of neat basically all your icons just kind of float around and you can do two things you can shake your your whole device and it will stop it or you can just hold on one I think double tap will actually do it too there you go you can see it gets back out of that mode so that's a really neat little feature um, here's here's a good one transition effects like I said the transition effects are amazing there's default right there but if you go to another one you can see that it shows you the effect just to see if you like it well, there you go um, that one actually looks better probably if you have something like here there it is so pretty cool again it, it just shows it to you I love that it gives you the example of it. instead of picking it going to your home you know trying it out oh I don't like it pick another one go you know it's just it's just hassles so I do actually like the stock one right here I think it's really good um, but I really love that that's really easy to get to right here off of tapping this little button you also have icon editor and you can do a lot of things like that with um, icon packs and stuff like that right there icon effects lets you pick this stuff how you want those little dots to come out you can see there's some different choices um, and let's see what else I can show you. So home screens gets you into the home screen settings for the launcher. And this thing is, I'm telling you, packed, insanely packed full of settings. I can't even go through them all, but if you want something that's super tweaked and like you can do like almost anything with, this is the launcher for you. It is extremely, extremely good. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Some gestures and stuff you can adjust. Here's the docs. And the number of docs and looping and hiding docs and all that kind of stuff, which is this dock down here. And some other little, you know, settings and stuff in there. So you've seen the transitions. You've seen the home screens. So let me just show you this. If you swipe up right here or swipe down or just hit that button, either way, you will get up to this right here. And here's where you can go into the preferences for next launcher and do all of your stuff in here go in and do all your transition and effects which is in here um, and all the good awesome settings and features of the whole thing is going to be right in here now here switch to 3d scene mode 
and it gives you some stuff like this. And I've not actually done this before, so I'm a little interesting. Ho 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 ho. That's wicked uh, cool looking. Yeah, I've not used this at all. So, as you can see, this thing does have some real cool features. I'm going to go back into settings. No, that's not the settings. I want preferences, I think. It's probably going to be that one. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to switch back to Classic really quick. Just because I'm going to try to review on Classic. But just so you can see, the features here are just insane. Um, so we have that. You have settings, themes. You have wallpapers, widgets. All that kind of stuff is right here. If you swipe up this direction, you get into this window. And um, for, you can just do different looking things here for spinning through it. You can change the way it transitions in here. Or you can hit this one and watch it transition that way. I definitely like this one here with that, that plus button. You can add another page. And you can see that adds in. Like I said, the transitions are just really, really cool. So another swipe up here gets to more stuff here, folders. If you want to add a widget, go in here, hit System Widgets. You know, pick a widget you want to add. Hang on, i got to hold it down. And put it in where you want it. There you go. Flick up. You know, that's up, down. Is there, you can just flick down the middle of the screen and it brings down your notifications. And let's see if I can find this other one. So widgets, wallpapers, personality, some theming, icon editor, and applications. You can see all that stuff right through here. So this is like, like I said, it's just, it's just crazy packed full of goodies. Here is your app drawer, and even it has its own cool transition. And what's a little confusing is most devices you'd hold down on something, and then you would drag it to your home screen to set it. This one is a little different. You actually have to hit this button. And then you have your home screens up here. And if you want to add something like right here, we would just flick it up there. Like that. Like that. And like that. And then you can just hit your screen. And there you go. You've got those on there. Now you can arrange them, you know, however you want to arrange them by holding them down and sliding them around. So it's a little different. You do have your home button to go back there. And then over here you have a little settings button that arranges and lets you kind of categorize your app drawer, um, which is really pretty slick. So um, that is probably most of it. There are some theming, like I said, things on it. Some other little tweaks and stuff you can do. But I would say that's, uh, for the most part, that is this next launcher. Um, but like I said, if you're going to go in here, this is what you want to do is come in here and play with all these preferences. They are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Great, great features built into this thing are really, really good. So, guys, that is it. That is going to be my review of Next Launcher. This is the paid version, so it is a little expensive to get. But um, if you like any of these features you see in here, it's a really, really cool launcher for sure. So there you go. That's it, guys. That's my review of Next Launcher. Hope you guys like it. As always, Root Junkie out.